Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 10 minute warning. We're gonna begin in 10 minutes, so make sure if you have not snagged some food, please do. But we will begin in 10 minutes. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end of the spring semester BYU-Idaho Fashion Show. This year, it is called Impressionism in Bloom. I am Thomas Scott, and I will be your MC this evening. We have, uh, this, this show is a collaboration of different students, various students and departments on campus, and we hope you enjoy a variety of talent that we will be pleased to see tonight. We would especially like to thank the Quantity Food Production and Services students, and if you have not had the opportunity to taste of the delicious goods this wonderful evening. Please do after the show. We would also like to thank Brianne here, the wonderful harpist who's been giving us some beautiful music. Brianne, please. As is customary, we will begin with an opening prayer, and we'd like to invite M. Miranda to step forward and offer our prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for this time that we have to spend at the fashion show. We're so grateful for um, this university and for the opportunities that we have to um, share our talents. And we're grateful for the fashion students and professors who made the show possible, as well as um, for the catering students as well. Um, we're so grateful for uh, thy love for us and for this university and for the um, opportunity we have to study at a place where we can... Um, study with the Spirit and um, be blessed by uh, the gospel. And we're so grateful for thy son and all he has done for us. And we pray that we may learn to be more like him. And we love thee and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, fantastic. It's so great to have all of you here today. Thank you for choosing to be here. This is a lot more fun when there's people in the seats. When we were here earlier and we were doing a dress rehearsal and you were all not here, it was a lot less fun. So we're really excited to have you here. Now, along with all the many others in the world, here at BYU-Idaho, we feel that good fashion is not only modest, but tasteful. We have been given the opportunity here to share what we love, all of these wonderful designers, with others. That's you. <laughs> the excitement over here. Yay. We're looking forward to sharing these talents, gifts, projects, and other hard work from this semester with you. As I mentioned, our uh, theme today is Impressionism in Bloom. Now, the working title originally was called Show Me the Monet. It didn't make the cut. It wasn't. And let me tell you, when I was looking up jokes for this event, you know how hard it is to find Impressionism jokes? They're all so abstract. We have invited many guests. I mean, all of you are important. But there are some VIP guests that support our apparel program and today's event. Some from the administration here at BYU-Idaho and some businesses that support many of the students with internship opportunities and jobs after they graduate. We'd like to recognize a few of them now. If you are here, will you please stand so that we can awkwardly look at you? Susan Burdick from the Online Curriculum Development. Dave Peck, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Tammy Hansen from the White Clothing Department with Travel Companions, Brianna Knudsen and Cammie Knudsen. Apparently, you have to stand. Yes, I don't know. You're on the card. I don't run the show. I just look at the cards. Kevin Galbraith from the Home and Family Department Chair. And Kate Hepler. Ladies and gentlemen, will you thank these folks with a round of applause? Because that's how we do it. We get excited. We slap our appendages together. It shows that we're happy. We are one step above penguins in that respect. 
As you came in today, as I mentioned, you were served some delicious items that were prepared by the quantity food production and service classes. These students learn the basics of food management, preparation, and successful marketing strategies for catering services, as well as planning and preparing food. We'd like them to come and be recognized. Will you come on up here? And all the white coat glory. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Berryhill, ladies and gentlemen, has a few words for you. Thank you guys for um, having us today, I guess. And we were really excited to make this food for you. We worked really hard for three days to make sure you could have a good experience while you're sitting in this wonderful sun. So hopefully you get some good color and don't go too far over. But today we had two boxes that we created. So we did a dairy and gluten friendly box. We had um, lemon curd cookies and then we did a fruit kebab and we did chicken cucumber, chicken cucumber bites and then we also had a coffee cake. And then for our normal box we did strawberry rhubarb crumbles. We also did a Again, a lemon cookie curd. And we had our, I know the list. I should have just read it. <laughs> and then we did cheese balls with crackers and a herbed focaccia. So we hope that you enjoyed it and we were grateful to be here. Thank you again, guys. It was wonderful. The cheese ball is my personal favorite. Mostly because that was my nickname in high school. Thank you, whoever that one was. See, way more fun than empty chairs and empty tables, despite what layman has taught us. We'd like to finally acknowledge all of our apparel instructors who have worked so hard and dealt with so many whiny students that wanted flexible deadlines to prepare for this fashion show. Without them, let's be honest, this wouldn't be possible. So with the apparel faculty members, as I read your names, please stand and be noted. Julianne Blake. Rose Durfee. Joanne Peters. And Teresa Blakely. I don't know about you, but when you're in a congregation and someone stands up like that, I feel like someone's getting a new calling, is what that is. All right, shall we get started? Should we see some clothes? Should we see some cool things that these students have put together? We're going to start right at the beginning, which is where we should start, with Apparel Construction 1. This class equips students with the needs they need to sew clothing from a simple pattern with confidence. They learn to do various seams, hems, and haws, and closures on a garment. The class begins with sewing a pillowcase, which then grows up into pajama pants, then progresses to a convertible collared shirt and skirt. So let's get this started. And please be generous with your applause and your love with the Apparel Construction One. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerris Rich. Genevieve Cook. Kylie Ferguson. Mackenzie Babcock. Jessalyn Manwaring. Brooke Ells. Nat 
Natalie Nielsen. Nicole Morales. Samantha Hughes. And Abigail Gibbons. One more time, folks, for all of Apparel Construction One. Fantastic. You know, they made the comment earlier about how it being nice and sunny and not being overdone, but let me tell you, I'd much rather have it than this than a typical Rexburg afternoon, windy and rainy. It is said that when given good basics, you have endless options, and the students are doing just that in children's apparel design. This class focuses on the specific techniques used in children's clothing and learning how to work with knit fabrics. The projects range from baby hats and booties to lined dresses and children's jackets. So we will invite now the children's apparel design to come forward, and you may find that some of the students did not fit in the children's apparel and design items. So we have some wonderful younger models that will be doing this. So please be extra generous with some applause as they come forward. Sierra Leonard. This is a design by Jenna Forbes with model Melody Tyndall. Designer Ally Potter with model Luthien Smith. Designer Mary Jackson with Jane Jackson, The Amazing, as written. These designs by Jill Lane, modeled by Ander, Aiden, and Ariana. Designer Lauren Hollander with model Sadie and Kinsley. Designer Hannah Burnham with the little model Hazel Hill. Designer Corbin Stafford with model Ella. Designer Rachel Engel, modeled by Forrest Thane.
Designer Sarah Lydiard. Modeled by Ava Lydiard. Designer Amanda Christensen with model Phoebe Peterson. Designer Jacqueline Stanford with model Adam Powell. One more time for the wonderful children's lines. You know, there are a number of students here who have done this for a good four years. We call them seniors, a name we only bestow upon those who have lasted a long time in a school and those who have lasted a long time in life. We'd like to showcase some of those seniors today and their capstone projects. So throughout the show, we will have several of these capstone individuals come and show off their product, their projects, talk about their projects, and if you've missed them, the display tables there in the back, you can see more of what they have done. So let me introduce you to our first apparel capstone project individual from South Carolina, graduating in winter, and loves to find inspiration from observational mood boards. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Paris Bauer. Thank you. Okay, so for my capstone project, I was able to work with the white clothing department for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I was able to design a set of children's dresses for use in sacred temple ordinances. One more time, she has lasted a long time to get this applause. Now, as these students come up with ideas and they want to create patterns, they want to make these ideas into realities, pattern making is one of the core classes to take these and make these patterns from scratch. For their midterm, they created a half-scale version of their designs, which have been on display in the McKay Library, which you have not seen yet. It is too bad they have taken them down. That's what you get for not reading more and avoiding the library. But today they are showcasing their final full-scale garments. So let's please admire these original pattern creations one by one, starting with Lindsay Smith. A design by Gavin Spencer. A design by Daphne Skopich. A design by Joseph Gifford.
A design by Kennedy Woodson. A design by Madeline Madison, sorry, Madeline Williams. A design by Haley Cruz. A design by Mary Jackson. A design by Andrea Crather. Crowther. A design by Abby Wilson. Designed by Kiera Hockman. A design by Shaley Betts. A design by Rachel Engel. making students. I have to tell you a little secret. They wrote things down phonetically. However, sometimes their handwriting was not perfect. So I will place the blame on somebody else. Like a good man does. I know how. Next, we can't just stay on paper, folks. This is the 21st century, so we need to teach some of these kids the computers and the diskettes and the vinyls and all of the fandangled technology of today. None of that was fandangled technology of today. But if you ask my grandmother, she always calls it the YouTube or the Facebook. But this is neither. We have computer-aided design, sorry, computer-aided pattern design class, or CAD. This class is required for all apparel design majors, and here they learn how to create a tech pack and use industry-related technology to create patterns so that those patterns can then be sent off to sew houses and factories to be created. Their final project is to recreate a project. It's when students work with a partner to take a retail jacket, reproduce the pattern work, and then make the jacket to see how close they can come to recreating it. One student will be modeling the original retail jacket, and the other will be modeling what was recreated. And you can judge in your own minds which one you think is which. So let's begin with the computer-aided design students. Here we have I'm going to ask oh. Leah Kalnakani and Hannah Miller. This one we have Michaela Taylor and no partner on this one. Jacqueline Stanford and Michaela Fakuri.
Skyler Gardner and Claire Harsh. Olivia Heater and Emily Pruitt. Vivienne Butler and Brianna Hogan. Jadelyn Arnold and Madeline Briggs. Sarah Lydiard and Alexis Blake. One more time for our CAD design students. I was actually told to not call it CAD design because that's like calling it an ATM machine. Automatic teller machine machine, CAD design would be computer aided design design. We'd like to introduce another one of our wonderful capstone students. <coughs> this one coming in real close to home here in Idaho Falls. I'd like to introduce Brianna McDougall. for this project came a little over a year ago. I did my internship at the Oneida County Museum in the Lad, Idaho. And while I was there, I got a catalog to preserve all their historical clothing. And there's one dress I just fell in love with, so I decided to recreate it. So I spent 120 hours this semester studying it, patterning it, and getting it all sewn. So here's the final recreate. As students move along, they move to Apparel Construction 2, a class which sews a variety of more complex patterns with various textiles, building on the skills of the beginning classes, and they learn to match things like plaids on a button-up shirt with a collar and a collar stand, as well as a back yoke. And no, not the yokes that you work with in your department. The back yoke is actually this part of the shirt right here which apparently is quite difficult to match up. And working, oh, uh, here we go. This is an advanced sewing project. They've also constructed tailored pants with a fly front zipper, line a garment, and work with knit fabrics. So let's get started with the beautiful and wonderful designs of Apparel Construction 2, started by, designed by Ivy Stuckey, modeled by Sarah Campbell. A design by Kaylee Reynolds. A design by Sydney Overy. A design by Fernanda Vizcara. A design by Emily Stockton.
A design by Elena Lopez. A design by Emma Murray. A design by Carly England. A design by Sydney Bledsoe. A design by Lindsay Smith. A design by Joseph Gifford. A design by Michaela Taylor. One more time for Apparel Construction 2. Department Chair, I think it'll be fun to call it Apparel Construction the Sequel which I think would be more fun than two. I can get behind that. Here we are moving on to knits and swimwear. It's one of the five special topics classes offered where students are offered an opportunity to further hone their skills working with knit fabrics, which is a more difficult fabric to work with. Projects include a knit skirt, leggings, and a swimsuit, which some will be showcased here and other are showcased with the other displays. To begin, our knits and swimwear will start with Molly Phillips. Next designer, Nina Tulieva. Designer Rebecca Luce. Designer Gavin Spencer. Designer Christopher Silvernail. One more time for the swimwear and knits. Now I have Lena here next to me. She's the final capstone student. I have to apologize because I think I got your name wrong when I when you came out earlier. Did that happen? It's all good. It's all good. I had it memorized as it was written, and then she wrote it phonetically, and I didn't get it. She comes all the way from Alaska, is graduating real soon. What, next week, right? Yeah, Wednesday. And uh, yeah, Wednesday. And Lena really enjoys to upcycle. And she will tell you a little bit about what upcycling is. So without further ado, we will have Lena Kawakami with model Melissa Isaro. Hi, you already introduced me, I'm Lena. Um, the third largest waste producing industry is the apparel industry. And so as designers, I think it's our responsibility to try and become more sustainable um, and take care of our planet. Today I have my beautiful model. Um, she is modeling an upcycled kimono. My grandma, my ancestry is from Japan. And so 
One of my grandma's kimonos is way too small for me. She's a Japanese size, I'm not. So uh, we took apart her kimono and upcycled it into something that I can wear. And thank you guys so much, here's my model. I will tell you that story when she told me, I thought was very moving. To take something that belonged to her grandmother and upcycle it into something that she can wear now. And I just, I love that about the, uh, about apparel design and upcycling and taking something and redoing it. Next we have the fitting and alterations class. This course builds on the skills learned from apparel construction too and pattern making. And students will first learn how to alter ready to wear clothing which those of us who are 40 and above know what altering clothing is all about. They will, uh, oh, I lost my train, my train of thought here. Personal slow bird. Students first learn how to alter ready to wear clothing for the final product. Students develop a custom fitted pattern based on a personal sloper, which is a base pattern of their specific body. So they are tailoring a, a clothing to fit their specific uh, body and, uh, and figure. So they get their own measurements and then make a beautifully fitted garment using pattern making and advanced construction skills. The final project that they prevent, present today is something that will fit their bodies perfectly. So we will get started with the fabulous Mariah Parent. The designer Viviana Viviani Butler. The designer Brianna Hogan. Designer Joya White. Designer Emily Pruitt. Designer Abigail Martin. Designer Jadlyn Arnold. One more time for the fitting and alterations. May you do well with fitting and alterations so many of us in suits can look that much better in suits. Now we have the final class. This isn't the final walk, but this is the final class. This class is called draping. And this is where they have a, 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 a figure, and they do all of the measuring and designing and things that are happening in real life. So in the, the thought comes to life in the moment. These learn a 3D form of pattern, this is a 3D form of pattern making to craft artful designs and watch these designs come alive before their very eyes. And I have also heard, I'm gonna put her on the spot. We have one model who is very excited to model with her students in this. So when we see, when we see Julian Blake come out, and I'll point to her, I want to hear the loudest eruption of applause. Can I get that from you? Can I get that from you? Okay. We love you, Julian. Here we go, let's get started, shall we? Starting with designer Olivia Heater.
Designer Claire Harsh. Designer Alexis Blake. Designer Brianna here. Designer Skylar Gardner. Designer Jada Harris. Designer Michaela Fakuri. Designer Hannah Miller. Designer Rebecca Luce. Designer Rose Durfee. And finally, designer and teacher of the draping class, Julian Blake. Well, we've come to the end. We have seen what we have seen. And uh, we will send these students off with an applause on one final walk. I do have a couple other thank yous. There in the back, can you hear me just fine? There in the back, can you hear me just fine? Do you want to know why? Because we'd like to thank the audiovisual team, the sound crew, photo and video services, and the event staff for all their support in making this loud and exciting. Thank you very much, crew members. It takes so much to put together an event like this. I have watched, you could see in some of these people's eyes just how much work this was. And it's finals week, and they're tired, and they're here doing this, and they're excited. So we're very grateful for them. I have to thank, once again, as I have my food sitting back there, quantity food production and services class, thank you for the food once again. <clears throat> and finally, this would not have happened without the amazing apparel students and teachers. We'd like to thank them for all their hard work and dedication, and we wish you success and support you in all that you do. Thank you, students. And teachers, one more time, let's see the final walk through. Ladies and gentlemen, the students of BYU-Idaho and their fashion and apparel.
Thank you folks once again for coming and have a wonderful night. If you are still hungry, they said there is extra food. Feel free to step over. I know some of you might be living on your last can of ravioli because it's the end of the semester. So please head on over, grab some extra food, and have a wonderful night. Thank you.